Hi. Welcome to Mental Health for Christians with No Condemnation. Now, have you ever thought you committed the unpardonable sin, the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? Have you ever thought you were a wolf in sheep's clothing? Have you ever thought your conscience was seared by a hot iron? Have you ever thought that God had given you over to a reprobate mind? Have you ever been terrified reading Hebrews 6? Are you caught up in a cycle of condemnation? Dr. Steve McVeigh, and I'll tell you plenty about him later, in his masterpiece of a work, Grace Walk, talks about the condemnation, rededication, and motivation cycle. Okay? And that's where you feel condemned because you're not living the way you should, or so you think. Um, you're a dirty, ugly sinner, and you're going to end up in hell or something, or psych ward. And then you rededicate yourself feeling the condemnation, you go to church, you rededicate yourself to the Lord, and then it's followed by a motivation period where you try and try and try to do the impossible. I'll tell you what's impossible. It is impossible to live a consistent, victorious Christian life in your own strength. Um, this is really a video for born-again Christians. If you're not born again, we can get to that in a later session, no problem. But for evangelical Christians, those who believe in being born again, whether they're from, let's say, a Baptist fundamental um, background or a charismatic or Pentecostal background, um, it's very common, that list that I just gave, and I'm pretty sure I, I remember them all, Well, all that are common. Let me stop right here. First of all, okay, uh, I'm not a professional. Um, I'm not licensed or ordained. However, in the old 79, 80, that's a long time ago. Uh, I am about 59 in a few months, so, you know, I look it. <laughs> yes, I'm probably old enough to be your father. Maybe your grandfather. Uh, first got saved in 74. And by the way, my name is Tom. But I wanted to start out this first session by just getting right to the crux of things. And um, I'm still learning my way through YouTube. This is my first posting. And depending on what you look at in the tutorials in YouTube, 
you either have 10 minutes or less or 15 minutes or less to get your first post. If you want additional time and become a YouTube member, you've got to uh, allow monetize, monetization for at least one of your videos. And that is allowing YouTube to post an ad. Well, I'll do that later when I get into resources the stuff I recommend that you listen to or watch um, as you walk out of condemnation. And um, actually, in the state of Massachusetts, you can call yourself a counselor and have an office in a practice, perfectly legal, with no qualifications professionally whatsoever. Uh, liability, everybody's scared to death of liability. I'm not. My reputation is not at stake here. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God puts his reputation at stake. He is the one that gives the guarantees that you will feel better. You can feel well again and you will feel well again in the name of Jesus. I'll try never to point. They say that's rude. In the name of Jesus, I'm telling you, you're going to be well. And why am I not afraid to be sued by saying you are going to become well mentally and emotionally as a born again Christian and happy, actually happy? Because, um, first of all, like I said, my reputation's not at stake here. I don't give the guarantees, God does. And I know for a fact that when you are struggling mentally and emotionally, if somebody says you can get well, you're going to think that you are that one person who will not get well. Ever been there? Mental illness or just plain old struggling with garden variety uh anxiety and depression one of the biggest things it does that was bad grammar who cares uh, it isolates you it makes you feel like you are alone and you are unique uniquely bad and that you're the one person in the audience who will not get well if someone says, you can get well in Jesus' name. No, you will get well in Jesus' name. Okay, now I'm getting up to nine minutes, and that's my little introduction. By the way, my name's Tom, like it really matters. But anyway, my name's Tom, and I'm a working man. And yes, that is a bedspread in the background because I'm in my cell and my cell is unfinished. And I don't want you looking at something ugly in the background. So I'm at 9 minutes and 20 seconds and I'm going to stop now, go through the tutorials again, post this to YouTube, and then the next session we'll go over resources. And I'm warning you, session 2 may start with an ad. I have to allow an ad at least one time in order to become a YouTube partner and get permissions to make videos longer than 15 minutes, okay? God bless you. You're going to be well in Jesus' name. Bye-bye now. Be right back.